Good morning. It is a couple days after Christmas. We're still kind of in holiday mode. Today is the earliest that these guys have got up, about nine o'clock. And we've decided to make waffles for breakfast. We're trying to just squeeze every bit of holiday out of this holiday that we possibly can. We are getting ready to go to my parents' house today. We're going to head that way tomorrow. And hopefully the roads are good. We have been sitting at about minus 30, but a wind chill of, no, that's not true. We have been sitting at about minus 38, 39, but our wind chill has been at minus 47. I don't think I showed you guys our new waffle iron that Clancy's dad bought us as a family gift for Christmas. We've been looking for a waffle iron that's bigger, that works better for our family, and this is the one that we found, and he was so happy to buy that for us. This will be our first batch of waffles using this thing. First <laughs> waffle is in, and it would appear as though I might need to figure out exactly how much waffle batter to put in this thing. <laughs> The lid is really heavy and it lifted it. Do we have any back here? Oh, we do. Some in the overflow. Well, it's a good thing we have it. This is going to be a massive waffle. I'm not eating an entire one. She's not eating an entire one. I have to show you. Okay, so that's like the size of my hand on this thing. It's huge. And then it's really, really thick. It's also really hot. Woohoo! Look at that. Easily, easily feed four people at a time. This is awesome. In the midst of making waffles, we also are pulling teeth because Miss Tegan has three teeth that need to be pulled, but now we're down to two. I didn't really update when we went to the dentist. Tegan is kind of on hold with the dentist with her orthodontic work because she has three molars that need to come out. So now we're down to just two molars. She has very, very loose teeth. So they actually trimmed her Invisaligns down so that they're only on the forefront, for bottom, <laughs> Forefront, forefront on top and bottom. And that's all that she has to wear until she gets rid of these molars and then she'll go back into regular Invisaligns again. How you feeling? Kinda ooey? I'm sorry. We are working on the basement. This cabinet here is the one that Clancy and I picked up over at Ikea. And we've had to kind of do some fancy fandangling in order to even stand it up in here. You can see that it goes pretty much to the ceiling. This is the one that covers the electrical panel. So we've put a piece of drywall in over there in the corner behind the electrical panel. And this is just going to slide right in there. So there's a notch coming out of it to make room for cords that have to come through there. And then we're gonna get it in there, then we can put in shelves, put doors on, put the back in. It all just needs some customizing in order to fit our space. all the things done today even filling this hole in I don't know if we'll pour the cement but at least we'll have the hole filled I'm really feeling like taking our trees down I'm kind of done with the whole tree thing and I know that by the time that we come back from my parents' house I will be super duper over it. So I've taken the ribbon off of this tree. I told myself I was not going to take them down today, but there is just this part of me that wants to do it. By the time that we come back, I'm going to be so over having a tree up that I just kind of want to take the thing down. 
and that's just one of them because then there's the tree in this living room which isn't lit so you can't really see it so at this point I'm just kind of picking at it I do need to get the girls through the shower through the tub so that we're all clean Addie has not technically had her hair brushed for four days because we curled it and it is getting more and more matted so we really need to condition it and try to get some of these tangles out I ended up barely touching the camera because we spent most of the afternoon downstairs in the basement. I'm really excited about what we got done and I'm looking forward to when we get home and start working on it again to hopefully patch up that hole in the floor completely. And right now we're just letting it settle so that we can get a little layer of cement on top of it and hopefully have the whole thing finished off. Then we can put in that wall. Yes, the dog is whining in the background, not even sure what she wants. Off to get girls through the tub, dig out some leftovers, feed everybody supper, and get some laundry done because I am not even remotely close to being ready to go tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 